Good morning, John. This is Flying a Boss. Hi! We're a hip hop duo, and we decided we want to make a video together. Yes. And this is what it's going to be. Do you feel like people who know who you are know who I am? Yes. Absolutely. For sure. I feel like people who know who I am know who you are. I don't know about that one. Wait, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Complete the line. Okay. Hello, Christ. Thank you for dying. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, your turn. Complete yeah. the line. Hello, Christ. I'm about to sin again. Hey. I said I love you to that man, but I'm not finished. I'm made of sugar spice. Connect a lot. cinnamon. He said it. <laughs> you guys came with a plan, which Just I love. Just a baby plan, yeah, not a, a real bit. plan. We have some questions to ask you. I would like to do my best. Yeah, we're just curious, and we feel like you know so much yeah i try it's become my job which is no pressure at all this is what you asked for i remember being in a van i was on tour with my band and we were making a decision about something to do with and i was like what if i could be a science guy yeah i was like that would be amazing and, and you did it true. and i did it so maybe that's next you're in a band now yeah 10 years from now yeah I you could be science guys maybe yeah. like when we're 52 10 years from now i really would love <laughs> that was a different yeah. <laughs> No, it's an ongoing. Okay, forever you're 42. Yes. Forever 42. Everybody's just trying to make me feel better about my age. I actually it's have no nice. clue how old you what, are. You're like 30, 33. Thank Great, thank you. Hank is 33. Which is Jesus' age. Hello, Christ. Right. He did all it's of that. It's full circle. When I got sick and I, might, and I might die, I was like, well, Jesus only got 33 years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a really dark yeah, joke, Hank. Yeah. Okay? Gotta be grateful <laughs> for really whatever you dark get joke. beyond that. <laughs> we might have to cut that one out. Yeah, that one's for my video. Yeah. <laughs> to the questions now. To okay. the questions now. Does running heat in your car run like take from the gas? Does it affect from the gas in your car? So okay. there's inside of the car, there's a thing that powers the car with the engine. And then there's also the thing that generates electricity. So there's like a little generator on the side of the engine. So the mostly the car is powering the wheel. But it's also powering a little generator that's making electricity. Like every time you put the windows up and down, you're using a little bit of gasoline. <gasps> Do not, not tell what? my mom that. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you better leave those Way windows less. alone. Way less than if it was AC. <laughs> Air conditioning, yes, definitely significantly. Pulls a lot of power. Heat, if it's a, if it's a gas powered car, yeah. it's coming from the engine. So they're like, there's like areas of the engine that are hot and they the engineers just use that Ooh. to pass some air over hot areas of the engine, basically. My brother liked to <laughs> test the gas in his car a lot. Like he always yeah. said, like when it's on E, you still got a bunch of miles it's true. left. Yeah. yeah That's you what don't he, know how many though. But he definitely needed my mom to bring Bring him gas a bunch. Not my mom's <laughs> favorite moments. Picking yeah. me up at like halfway to the gas station. Yeah. And she's like, why are you wearing all that makeup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother would test the limits. That's on. Then he would say, "We can't put the heat on right now because I'm low on gas." I'm low on gas. And I'm be like, "I'm well, cold." I got an electric car now, and it actually tells me how much of the charge oh. is going to like climate control oh, inside cool. of the car. Oh, very cool. That's which good. in the winter is a lot. Do you think electric cars are the future? Or electric what? cars are the future. So what happens like if they all get hacked? I mean, you can hack a car now. If all the cars are electric and all of them get hacked, what happens? If all the cars now get hacked, what happens? This is terrifying. I hadn't thought about I've thought it yet, about Bobby. This. Now Sorry. I'm scared. It's good that there's a bunch of different car companies because it's probably be hard to hack all right, the different all car companies at the same time. But like Kia and Honda had that problem this year where oh. like somebody figured out an easy way to steal them. Oh God! It was like a TikTok trend. I heard Lamborghini <laughs> <Car> <laughs> TikTok fraud. <laughs> I heard for a Lamborghini you can't get a locksmith to come open it. Like Lamborghini has a satellite that like opens each individual Ooh, car. That's mm. one way to do it. Yeah, I guess that's why everybody wants Lambos. That's why they're so expensive because they have to have the <laughs> yeah, satellite. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each space one first. has one satellite. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, next question. If you had to count, how many things do you think you know? That's an interesting question. Well, let me turn around on you. What is What counts as knowing? Mm. Like, how many facts do you know? But what's knowing? Like, how do I know crystallized I know something? Crystallized intelligence. Like, crystallized, <laughs> crystallized intelligence. Yeah, little, like, like actual that, solid, okay. solid chunks you of know, knowledge. You know, it's raining outside. You know. Oh, I do know that. Water is H2O. Oof. And you, you know, know the earth is not flat. Exactly. Yeah. You know Allegedly. the moon landing was real. <laughs> Allegedly. You know. <laughs> That's a lot of things. I mean, you can kind of break it out, like, infinitely. I know that there's like atoms in my socks and I know that each Whoa. one of those atoms is on my foot. Is it on my foot or is it just near my foot? But it is near my foot. It's That's near a fact. your foot. At least it's but is near. it touching? Yeah, right? Or is well, it like a little what is touching? Of, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I think about every night before I go to bed. <laughs> what is touching? Do you think you know more than the average person? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I'll admit to that one. But do you I think do know you know lot. more than but the semi-average person? <laughs> I, 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 I say I'm in the top 10%. Top 10%? What, wait, yeah. how much does the of average stuff, person know? That'd be, that's really interesting. I'd say like the average person probably knows like 10 million things. 10 million? I was going to say 500. Wow. <laughs> well, we just made like five. <laughs> I that feel was like, just like things I for sure on my body. No, five hundred things personally. Yeah, I bet you know like ten million things. Wow. 
I know a lot about Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know about a lot about the Pistons. I know a good amount, not a lot. I wouldn't she knows say a lot about Detroit. I know n- zero facts about the Pistons. You just learned some. They're from Detroit. Th- yep, that's and they're one. named after a car part. But was a piston also a horse? Maybe Pistons. that's what they say. They say it might have been a horse. <laughs> Piston's mascot is a horse. Oh, is he? Yeah, it's but not the, just like a piston. Yeah, it should be like a piston in a car, like a spur is a yeah. spur. Yeah, oh. the Lakers always confused me. Is it gonna be? Is oh, it you want to know lake? why? I actually know. Oh. They were the Minnesota Lakers, and it's a lot of lakes oh, over there. Oh, lakes up there. Mm-hmm. And they Minnesota. So you know, like ten million things. Yeah, you know so much. You know, at least ten million things. What? What's Episcopalian? <laughs> so in Minnesota, no, it's a kind of it's a kind of Christianity. Oh, right. Uh-huh. It just like, came to my head when it's I was like, like Catholicism, but like a little more chill. Oh, do they believe that <laughs> Jesus died for our sins? I think so. Yeah. Okay. How? My brother's Episcopalian, <laughs> but I don't know very you much about it. You don't ask him Episcopalian questions. No. How many siblings do you have? Just one. Oh, are, but you guys aren't identical. No. This is oh. the second time this weekend. You guys someone look has asked a lot question. alike. I don't know if you noticed. He's three years older than me. You aren't even twins. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were twins. You guys look so much alike. I mean, a lot of mm-hmm. white people do look alike. It's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially when they're brothers. Yeah, and twins. So <laughs> I really learned that today. I, I came in here knowing that was your twin brother. Man. Oh wow. And that's I didn't John know Green. she thought that. Wow. We are two different people. That's important. Yeah. You knew that. That's huge. Yeah. I did know that. And that's that. another fact. Ten million. <laughs> I mean, it might be more than that. Like I don't know. Like it might be in the hundreds or hundreds of millions or billions. No. I don't know. It's a lot of things. Hmm. Like you know every word. No. We know every word you know. I know every word I know for sure, but there's words. I learned the words today. Yeah. Episcopalian. And for for, for, for <laughs> So do you think people don't know the same amount of things that they know? <laughs> I think <laughs> I'll answer that question. I think I understood it. I think that there are more things that humans don't know than humans know. Yeah, humans yeah. as in I, general. Even and all of us together, I think there are yeah, more things that are so unknown too. than known. What do you so think yeah. about know it alls? I think you got. I think it's a real fine line, Bobby. I, uh, it's, a, it's a concern of mine. I can't stand them. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Both of our moms told us that you can't mix starches in meals like you have like rice and potatoes right yeah no you can't do that in a meal because it's bad for i don't know they just said it was you bad don't mix starches that's just yeah what you we get heard. one starch a meal so you better pick your potato you better pick your rice or your pasta this is i don't it, <laughs> significant respect to your moms <laughs> we respect them too oh great but let's no, prove that's them not, that's wrong not them. That's right? not, that's there's no, there's no, no thing there nothing to your digestive system no i mean you like it's maybe a good way of controlling the amount of starches that you have because you're, you like, can't you should, overload you shouldn't have two maybe you shouldn't have like four servings of starches at one meal but like if you have one serving and it just happens to have like a potato and some noodle and some rice yeah that's fine. you just mix that all in with the sauce sounds mm, good to me i mean i, like I, like, I don't think it's not good not done enough yeah, let's try I, it out. Let's no, make a dish right like now. A, that's just potato, noodles, mm-hmm. and rice. We have a starch yeah. party. Maybe cornstarch. Oh, as the mm. sauce. Yeah, just like yeah. some oobleck sauce. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need some flavor. Starch uh, pie. Starch I know. Pie. I know that you looked at me and you were like, "That guy is very white," uh, and you're like, "He doesn't want." But I'm gonna at least need salt. Oh, it, it okay. Looks like that's you fair. like your food seasoned. I would. I would assume you like your food seasoned. You know, there are moments when I, my wife will catch me like having the Thai curry cold and she'll be like, you can heat that up. You, we have a microwave and I'll, I'll be like, but it has too much flavor if it's hot. <laughs> so do guys get more flavor so when funny. they're warm? Yeah, yeah that's mean, true. Like, yeah, I feel like it. Okay. You I feel like it. I haven't done that. So that's math, not something you know. But like, I mean, it's <laughs> no. something you feel. Yeah. Got yeah, it. It's something I feel. But I know things that make me feel it. These things are hotter when they have like the molecules themselves have like are moving around more. So there's going to be more evaporation. Taste is actually mostly scent. And so there's probably like more smell coming off of a hot thing than a cold thing. Right. Like, you, like Yeah, that's true. A curry. It smells yeah. a lot more like a curry than if you have cold curry. What about <laughs> drinking while you eat? Is it bad for your digestion? Because that's what I always heard growing up. Drink water? I mean, like, yeah, like but liquids? any liquids. Yeah. Oh, but not like alcohol specifically. Yeah, no, we know that's good. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Drink it while eats great. It doesn't like mess up your digestion in any way? No, it's probably, if anything, it's good. Okay. But in general, one thing I'll say about food tips is that usually it's either no effect or the tiniest, tiniest effect that you should not be worrying about. Nice. Um, is it true that the sun is going to explode? Yes. A lot of people talk about uh, how in, in like 4 billion years, the sun will get really big and I'll sort of eat the earth, uh, which will happen. But they don't talk about how like significantly before that it will get so hot that 
all the water on earth will boil away and like life as we know it won't be possible Um. so like it's like we got four billion years and i'm like until the earth is gone but until like life is impossible it's less than that oh wow which soonish I wouldn't. <laughs> it's kind of soon. Hank said this, the got, sun is like, going to blow got, up kind of soon. So we've been here, we're like we humans have been around for like two hundred thousand years. We got like uh, thousands of more two hundred thousand years. Oh. So like. So it's okay got a, to like got a while have a kid. Yeah. Okay. Because I've been thinking about that. I would encourage it. It's fun. What about this new planet that they found that has water and stuff? Which one? <laughs> I guess it's not new. <laughs> I mean, like, water is very common. Yeah. Uh, it turns out there's lots of water around the solar system. Mars has lots of water. There's water on the moon. This is a wild fact that I know. Earth has less water than a lot of some of Jupiter's moons. Oh. But, like, that water is ice on the surface, but then liquid underneath. Like, there's Ooh. a lot of liquid water, like, on a couple of, uh, a couple of gas giant moons. And How do people know that? Because they know that they're made of ice Mm because you can look at them and see that they're made of ice and they know that they're hot on the inside uh because they have volcanoes and what comes out of the volcanoes is ice water you know how a volcano here would have like liquid Mm -hmm. rock Mm -hmm. it's like liquid water oh cool instead of magma down there i love that that's like one of the big candidates for like what the heck's going on inside of those moons Mm. yeah i want to know i know we really want (laughs) to know it's a lot of ice to drill through to find out though we might be dead before we figure that one out but look it's good to have ice to drill we're just part of the story beautiful problem one step at a time yeah Um, do you think we'll ever live on another planet not us yeah not not the three of us well maybe i think that would be so fun if you you guys want to like go on a vacation to the moon i would love that yeah what about ginger ale what about ginger ale (laughs) Can it heal a cold? Ginger ale oftentimes doesn't have any ginger in it. Right. So probably not. There's this um, ginger ale called uh, Verner's. Sure. That There's some stuff this? that has. It's in Detroit. And it like hurts. <laughs> Is that one of the ones that hurts? No, it doesn't no, hurt. No, uh, Verner's like, isn't. I don't like that one. Oh. Sorry. So you hate Detroit. That's what, uh, I, that's what <laughs> I, I wear. I have a shirt. That's what it says that. <laughs> Actually, every time I've been to Detroit, it's been awesome. Um, but yeah, my mom used to say I have some Verners. And she also would yeah. warm it up in the microwave. Ooh, hot Verners. Hot Verners. That actually, there's a, probably a good reason to have hot Verners, which is not like getting better faster, but just controlling the symptoms. I mean, I feel like everybody's their own experiment when it comes to this stuff. But if you eat some ginger, it can help with like cold, congestion, yeah. cough type stuff how does it work why does it work if it works for you then like it's working and just symptom control is worth doing especially when it's something that's definitely not bad for you like Mm -hmm. ginger and then there's like is it helping your immune system fight off the cold faster and it's like maybe oh maybe it might probably doesn't have a super huge effect it looks like it might actually do some immune boosting okay i like that but i don't think verner's is actual ginger but it might still help with the symptom control right like i have a coke if my stomach's upset you know because the bubbles yeah, I don't know. Pepsi is actually called Pepsi because of like Pepsid, which is a like a peptide. No, and like <laughs> like Pepsid AC is like a is like a stomach calmer. Oh. And I don't know. I guess oh. like Peps, like that's that prefix means okay. something to do with the stomach. And stuff. why is Coke Coke? Peps, because <laughs> of cocaine. I heard about that. That's yeah. real. Want to see fact. if you knew that? Ten that's million. Fact. Ten million. <laughs> that's a fact. But yeah, they used to have cocaine and Coke. I heard right. about that. Yeah. Did they also used to give like they used to rub? Coke on kids' gums or and alcohol. Something like they would like take bourbon on their alcohol. Yeah. alcohol and rub it yeah. on the kids' uh, gums. Yeah, chill out, boy. Yeah, yeah. even morphine <laughs> or something when they were kids. Something. Oh man, hey, they used to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, there, there's like there's like a a little bottle of medicine that somebody has and it's like it's a special tonic and then like the ingredients are are like morphine, heroin, <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> alcohol. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, that make you feel better. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not gonna feel on to something. Yeah, <laughs> great times. Uh-huh. Can you mold a baby like a newborn baby's head? shape yeah um you have to do it so like some babies are born with like heads that are weird enough shape you know they think there might be some adverse consequences later in life not usually aesthetic but sometimes that's a concern it's like that would maybe look kind of look weird Mm -hmm. give them like so instead of you know you get get braces because your teeth are crooked not necessarily because they're it's a problem just because it it's ugly for, for yeah to them yeah, and you see these babies sometimes like little hats on that are oh. basically yeah. squeezing their head into a shape. Yeah, I have yeah. seen that. Yeah. Oh, because like some of my cousins, my like aunts and stuff would be like, oh, we didn't mold their head enough. That's why they have that hook Got on the hook? back of their head. Like What's they a have hook? a, you oh, know, like a, little, like a yeah. deeper hook. Like a bunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, bunk a bunk. And they were like, oh, you should have mold that baby's head better. But like, I think that you have to have it, have the pressure like all the time. Mm. So, so you, you can't like, just rub it every now and I don't then think or like so. at night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think so. So I had I have a baby. I have a kid. And when he was a baby, <laughs> he's not a baby, but he was. And when you put you like there's like a spot on the top of the head. A that's soft spot. Like 
it's just brain under there. And you can, like put your finger on it and feel his heartbeat oh, in his brain. I've heard of the so soft sweet. spot, but I didn't yeah. know. You it's really hot too. Cause like the brain, it's just like hotter than the rest yeah. of the head. Wow. It's very weird. Do you have any parenting tips? Are you thinking about having a baby? One day in my life. Okay. We want to be pregnant at the same time. Yeah. So we made a pregnancy pact, mm -hmm. but not yet, but soon enough. You guys sure you're not a couple? We're not a couple. We're okay. kind of a couple. You're a couple of people. <laughs> we're exactly. a couple. We're a duo. We're and duo. we are life partners in a way. Yeah. yeah. And we're How in a at? committed relationship. Yeah. We're definitely committed. We're not seeing other rappers. We have a bank account <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been at it? Four years together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we've known each other for a very long, like 10. Yeah. yeah. Long, long time since we were 32, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was the question? Any parenting, oh, parenting advice. Oh, uh, yeah. I think if you love them. Yeah. Then, but when should you start teaching them stuff? Oh, as soon as they want to know stuff. They're so curious. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing to do is listen to the kids, like curiosity and follow it around. Okay. Let the process of like them being curious make you curious too. And then you get curious together. I love that. Okay. Our last question. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that was very wholesome. And it sweet. was. Yeah. <laughs> our last question is, do you have any big brand ideas for Bobby and I to go viral again? Oh, you should. You should interview Hank Green. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already doing that. Yeah, but like even more viral than we already were. We want to. Yeah. We want to take it up a notch. It's so yeah. it's Trying so to get tricky. To two million on TikTok. It's so tricky. I uh, no idea. Okay. I mean, you got it. Like, Thanks everyone yeah. for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Why your thing worked was because it was so captivating and different, mm -hmm. and like. Being captivating, I feel like you guys can definitely do. Being different is hard. Like, how, what's different and captivating? Yeah. Because, like, if, like, it's good at working, usually someone's already figured out how to do it. But, mm -hmm. like, you can't just, like, do it. Like, somebody else can't just do what you did and right. have it right. work. Right. Okay. What a delight. Yeah. We're flying a boss. And I'm Hank Green. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Hi, John. Hi, John. Didn't know you weren't twins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Bobby and Feline for hanging out with me. Thank you to Milo for helping me edit this video. And thank you to uh, Jarvis, whose house we did this in. Feline and Boss is spelled like this. Obviously, they are great. Like, when I said we should hang out, I did not know that it would be that fun. Their new EP is called This Ain't The Album. It's coming out March 29th.